Greetings everyone, my name is Josh. I perform music under the name Breezy Bellows and the accordion is my primary instrument. Today I am beginning a series of videos to introduce everyone to the wonderful world of accordions. Today we are going to demystify the accordion for the uninitiated and by the end of this video I hope that I would have created enough interest in you so that you'd seriously think about picking up an accordion and playing. So the accordion is a wind instrument that is completely acoustic. So by that, you don't need any additional power supply like what you would need for a keyboard or an electric guitar. This doesn't require any electric power supply. So all the power that is required to make sound from this instrument is provided by you, the accordion player. And how do you do that? By squeezing the bellows. And by squeezing the bellows, you create enough pressure inside the instrument so that the reeds vibrate. And you have to press a key or a button to make a sound. So let's see how this sounds. And you would have also noticed that we have a keyboard on the right side and a lot of buttons on the left hand side. So the keyboard might look familiar to anybody who has seen a piano or a musical keyboard. And this is no different from it. So the layout is exactly the same. And if you're already uh, learning to play the piano or the keyboard, the right hand skill set could definitely be ported. Although there are like certain differences in the keyboard on the right hand side. Like on a piano, you'd have a hammer action keyboard in which the volume of the tone could be controlled by how hard you hit the keys. But that's not the same with the accordion. It doesn't matter how hard you hit it, that's not gonna change the volume. So how do you control the volume? By using the bellows. So if you squeeze the bellows slowly or softly, it's gonna produce a mild tone. But if I squeeze it harder, it's gonna be louder. And what's the deal with all these buttons? So this is what I love about the accordion. So there are a lot of different types of accordion. This one is called a piano accordion with a standard bass and it's uh, the most popular configuration on the left hand side. So what is a standard bass? As confusing as this looks, this is a genius design for anybody to start to learn music. So this design makes it so easy for beginners to get to play songs with chord harmonies. So what makes this so easy is that you only need one finger to play a chord. So if I want to play a C major on the piano, I'd be doing this. I have to press a C, E, and a G. And if I were to do this on any instrument, say the guitar or like a keyboard or any instrument in which you play a chord, you actually need to press a combination of buttons and memorize finger patterns. But on the accordion with standard bass, you only need to press one button. That plays your major chord, and not just the major chord, it can also play the minor chord, the seventh chord, and the diminished chord. So all these chords could just be played by pressing a single button. So that makes the accompaniment on the left hand side much more simpler than what it is on the piano. But it isn't just that. So you might be asking, what if I wanna play something that's not chords? What if I wanna play a solo? And the accordion has the best of both worlds. You can also play a solo on the left hand side. And you can also play combinations of individual notes and chords. And you could do different rhythm patterns. And the chord transitions are also so easy on the accordion for your most common chord changes. So if you were to like play a piano and you're doing chord changes from C major to F major and G major, which are like your one, four and five cards, 
you have to do a lot of shifting. And if you were to avoid shifting, you will have to learn about inversions. And that is not very straightforward. But nothing beats the accordion. All you have to do is press a single button and the fourth and fifth chords that are the most frequent chord transitions are right next to each other. So I just have to do this. C major, F major, and G major. So if I were to play a pattern with this, it sounds like this. With this, you become your own accompaniment. You can play the melody on the right hand side and the bass and chords which becomes your accompaniment on the left hand side and you don't need anybody to play with. You could play a whole complete song with rich chords and harmonies all by yourself and you don't need a rhythm guitarist or additional band members to help you perform. You become your own one man or one woman band. So I can show you like a really simple song that you could play with maybe just an hour of practice on the accordion. If you were to play the exact same thing on the guitar, I'd assure you that it's virtually impossible for a beginner to do this within an hour. It might be a little easier to do this on the piano compared to the guitar, but the chord changes are nowhere as easy as it is in the accordion. Let me show you another rich arrangement for the accordion and you could see for yourself how it sounds. possibilities are endless. I have been playing the accordion for a little over four years and I'm mighty pleased with myself for choosing the accordion as my primary instrument. You could put it in a case and take it to wherever you go and you don't need anybody else to perform with you. It makes you a true solo performer. And the best thing is that you don't have to sing. I'm not a great singer myself. And if I were to like play the guitar to entertain people with just the instrumental without any vocals in it, it requires a lot of practice and a lot of skill. But with the accordion, I don't have to sing at all. I have the right hand side, which does the melody for me and takes care of the singing. But if you want to sing, you could always sing along with the accordion and add to your performance. The other thing that I love about the accordion is the register switches. So now what are all these switches? So each of these switches gives us an option to change the color of the tone. So you get different voices in the same instrument. So I can show you a bunch of different voices that this accordion has. Obviously, we're not going to go over all the options in the interest of time. And we also have register switches for the left hand. Thank you for watching my first video on the introduction to accordions. 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Breezy Bellows. I hope you found this video useful. Please tune in for the other videos in this series. In the next video, we'll be looking at the different parts of the accordion and what their function is. Until then, bye-bye.